If I had to start over from zero as a filmmaker in 2025, here is exactly how I'd learn editing from scratch. The way I wish someone would explain it to me back then when I was broke, lost and wasting years watching random YouTube tutorials. By the way, if you don't know me, my name is Max, I'm a 22 year old filmmaker and I've spent the last 5 years of my career editing for more than 10,000 hours from music videos, concerts, nightclubs, documentaries, band content, literally any kind of video. And this is the system that I would follow personally if I had to start from scratch to learn smarter, make money faster and avoid any kind of burnout. And by the end of this video you will know precisely what you need to focus on. Step 1. Build your mindset before you start touching Da Vinci. At the very beginning, most people open their editing softwares instead of opening their minds. They think editing is about effects and transitions. But trust me that editing is about patience and entering that state of mind of laser focus and finishing what you have started. Because if you can't sit still for more than three hours, no LUT or plugin or effect is going to save your career. You need discipline and you need a reason of why you're doing this in the first place. Every single cut that you make should bring you closer to the story you're trying to tell, not just to make the video cool or good looking. When I started, I used to think that fast cuts means better. And now I know that calm edits are the actual fast ones because of the dynamic of the story, the character of the movement inside the video itself. Editing is about 80% of the mindset that you have and 20 20% of the tools that you're using. And if you build up mindset early, trust me that you will never burn out. Step number two, learn the foundation properly. Before chasing style, you need to master the basics. You need to learn the shortcuts, how to move through the timeline and how the sound and the color works. Forget about flashy transitions for now. You need to focus on cutting, on clean storytelling, on pacing, on rhythm. Stop overdosing your edits. Stop overcharging them. Just relax and keep it simple. Because I've seen so many beginners trying too hard, putting a transition on every single cut, editing with this insane amount of VFX and 3D, thinking they're Cole Bennett. Bro, you are not Cole Bennett, just keep it simple, please. You need to stop watching every single tutorial that you find out there. You just need one solid video that will teach you clean cuts, good sounds and good color, and you're ready to go. Just apply it and move on. Step three, start editing real projects. Forget about fake practice. Forget about filming yourself, about filming flowers and dogs and people on the street. You need to start editing real content. I started editing for my friend's clothing brand, for local artists, for barber shops, for small events, for weddings. Nothing glamorous, but that built my instincts, my speed and my confidence when it comes to delivering a project. And I guarantee you that you will learn a lot more from your own bad footage that you have created rather than any kind of tutorial that you find out there with stock footage. Because real clients teach chaos management, they teach problem solving, and they teach communication. And if you don't have clients, don't worry because you probably have family members or friends that do something interesting that you can just film a fake ad or a fake music video because your mission right now is not perfection, it's just accumulating reps and trial and errors and failures and bad takes and that's it. Step four is to build systems and speed. Now that you can edit, first of all, congratulations. And second of all, you need to start building structure. Speed doesn't come from editing faster. It comes from thinking less and taking less choices. Create your workflow, organize your project, name your files, make your own presets, batch your effects, your sounds, your color. And that's exactly how you move like a professional. And this is where my Da Vinci project template comes in because it's completely free for you, but I have only 50 places left so be quick it's the first link in the description step number five develop your style and your visual identity once you are fast now is when you can get creative. Your own style isn't something that you can find or create overnight. It's something that you earn from repetition, experiment, fail, steal from people better than you. You need to get inspired from that and then you refine your own craft. Don't chase aesthetics and that trendy film look. You need to chase your own style and that will show up when you learn what not to do. Step number six is to master storytelling. Listen carefully, this is the number one thing that you need to learn as soon as possible, the faster you can because AI won't be able to replace this single skill. Editing is not about buttons, it's about emotion. It's about making people feel something because anyone can color grade and make sound and add flashy transitions and AI effects, but very few can actually move someone 
through pacing, rhythm, silences, music. Your story is what makes people stay and your color, your sound, your music, all your technical parts is what makes them feel something. Master both and you will never compete for prices again. Visual effects will very soon be replaced by AI, but artificial intelligence will never, and trust me, never ever, at least for now, tell a story like a real human and make you feel connected. Step number seven, monetize, build your brand and evolve. Once you have the necessary skills and tools and knowledge, you need to stop hiding and post your content, post your work, show your face, share your knowledge and teach what you're learning. This is literally how I got here, just by posting what I was going through. I never was pretending to be perfect because clients don't buy your edits, they buy your reliability, they buy your name, they buy your taste, your style and your reputation so stop building that trust me by the way i have moved to a new place this is my new studio this is my room this is my background i'm really happy i'm really motivated with it so please let me know what you think and if you want me to show you my gear my equipment and where i edit and how i do my stuff leave it in the comments and i will make sure to just do a video about this place and that was it those were the seven steps that i would follow personally if i had to start over from zero at filmmaking or editing. If you master this process, it doesn't matter where you start because skill compounds and trust me that if you stay consistent and disciplined with it, you will never be broke again. And if you want to go deeper into how I edit and structure YouTube videos like this, last week I have dropped a full breakdown of my process of how I edit inside of DaVinci Resolve. Trust me that there you will learn a lot and if you want to learn even more, subscribe to this channel because weekly I am posting free value content. So stay safe, I'm seeing you on next Sunday.